Hello everyone, happy Monday and welcome to the replay. Thanks for joining me for another card. Today's card though, it's gonna be super simple, but very cute. It doesn't even need any stamping, so I don't have any stamp sets out for this. Um, I just have some paper and some thin cuts and some, a zip strip. Let me make sure everybody's here, good to go. Awesome. Okay, so last year uh, we had a paper pack called Hawthorne. It was very gorgeous colors. Um, it has a maroon, a blue, a gray, a green. It's really pretty uh, paper pack. Of course, it's no longer available. It was last fall's paper pack. Uh, we have new paper this uh this season so um hello karen and hello yolanda thanks for joining um so i've already pre-cut most of the stuff because i want to show y'all how to put this card together no stamping needed um i did take one of the maple leaves from the textured leaves thin cuts collection so here's the stamp and thin cuts but i'm just going to use the the die today and I chose the smaller maple leaf there's like there's two and you can see this one is quite smaller not quite smaller just somewhat smaller um, and so I needed this one so that it would fit the dimensions of my paper let me show you I've got this um, burgundy maroon paper and I can't remember the color is hold on let me see what the color is called Turn this over. Oh, it is paprika. Oh, nice. Oh, no, it's sangria. This has got to be sangria. Okay, so we've got that. We've got this gray, um, which is going to be... I honestly don't know. Let's look for a gray paper. It's like a, a mink or a pebble. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I think that's, um, it looks like pebble. Okay, cool. And let's see here. This is the pattern paper. It's this, um, blue. Why am I missing all my colors? But you can see the reds, orange, gold, greens, grays in there. And, um, I've already cut two pieces of the gray of the mink down to three and three quarters by five using the rectangular, the stitch rectangles die. I want two because since my card base is this darker color, I want to add one on the inside so that you can write your sentiment or whatever uh, your note that you want in your card. On the front, I've got the patterned paper and my mink paper cut to the same width and length because I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna die cut a leaf out of here so that you can see ta -da, the paper underneath. So it's just gonna kinda create like a faux shadow box. Um, we're not gonna do any sequence, a shaker or anything like that. And then I have a little piece of the same paprika. I'm sorry, sangria uh, paper. Uh, it's about two and a half inches by th like three quarter inches. It's just enough to make a little uh, banner flag. And I'm gonna cut out this part from our zip strip um, that says so thankful, just so I can layer it together and have a nice little sentiment. So, let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut my leaf out of this card front. Well, before that, let me say hello to a few people. So, hello, Christy. Hey, Mom. Hi, Rose. 
thanks you guys for joining me so like i was saying easy card no stamping involved today i did pre-cut all my pieces but it doesn't take much time at all okay so here's my little die cut machine and I'm just gonna place my die right about where I want it, but I wanna make sure it's within that stitching so that it's nice and centered. And I do want it towards the top because I wanna put my sentiment down here. Oh, hey, Lily, how are you? And let's see, okay. I'm just cutting that through. I'm gonna run it backwards as well. Very, very easy card today. Now, you can save this and um, you could even, okay, so we're gonna put these two pieces of paper together, right? So you could kind of offset it, but it's gonna cover up too much of this. So definitely save this for another day so that you can have this nice pretty leaf to use. Don't waste it, that is a really good die cut that you want to keep on hand okay let me put this stuff away okay so let's start with i want to put this on here but i do want to create some depth so i'm going to attach the gray piece to that blue paper pattern paper piece using um some foam tape, okay? Now, I'm seeing that, that I have my two pieces of paper, like, absolutely the same equal. So I just trimmed, like, the slightest little bit off. See, so that it doesn't stick out when I add the foam tape. So I'm going to turn this over and add the foam tape to the frame or to the card front instead of adding it to the paper. Okay. Now, before I get to thinking too much, I think I'd like to add some string down here as well. Let's get our sentiment ready and that way we can see if we need to add anything to it. And this has a little bit of a wavy end, so I'm just gonna kinda cut that a little wavy. Mm. I'm gonna cut a little flag on this a little dovetail so that I can stack the two here I'm gonna make that a little bit more pronounced oh, I can add them and I don't I kind of want them offset maybe or maybe it should go evenly. Let me add a little bit of foam tape to that one with the with the thinner foam tape. I guess I'll just center that on and that'll be good. So if I add that on, we might want a little bit of string. And I'm gonna tell you that I did get some from Walmart because I don't have the colors that I want. So um, no telling, don't tell on me too close to my heart. <laughs> but sometimes you just gotta find stuff where you can, especially, um, you know, things that we, if we don't offer, if we don't carry the string, then definitely, you know, feel free to get it 
wherever you can find it. So this was just in the jewelry making aisle at Walmart. And I thought these colors would be good for all occasions. So, hey, Jessica and hey, Benny. So I want to add that in. Um, and I'm thinking to just wrap it around a couple of times. Here, let's, let's go ahead and hear that. the way over to that end <clears throat> okay. just a couple times around I'm gonna tie a knot and then we'll kind of figure out how we like it what we want to do with it Kind of, kind of trying to shuffle that over to the other side. There we go. I don't want to, it's, it's starting to bend, so I don't want to mess around with it too much. I'm just going to cut those short. And now I can see where to place the tape around it. We're almost, it's almost like creating a little shaker window, but I'm just leaving some space. And I'm putting a little bit around the leaf because that's probably where the paper's going to be a little bit weaker. Maybe, maybe not. But. I'm trying to make a narrower piece to go in right there. There we go. Okay. Now I can just peel back all these pieces. I really like the look of um, having the paper have some dimension over the pattern paper because it creates a nice shadow. So it really feels like there's some depth there. I'm doing that all this over off to the side. Sorry. So I'm just peeling all that off. And I just want to make sure that I'm covering everything without getting my nails stuck in it. There we go. So it's kind of like having a little, I don't know what that was, but it's kind of like having a little bit of a shaker, but you're just getting the depth and you could actually add your clear window on there, put some sequins in there and you would have a shaker, but I like it like this for today. Let's see, let's add some adhesive and add this blank one to our inside. And you know what? There was a sticker out of the pack that says grateful um, that I'm just going to add down here. Now, I'm not adding any foam tape or anything because it's on the inside of the card and I don't want it to make it make the card front crease. 
So I'm just putting that in there flat. And now I can add this piece. And you can see that cute pattern paper in there. I don't know what that was, but I think I wiped it off. And I haven't even added any bling, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm gonna leave it nice and plain like that. I think our string adds, and our dimension here adds plenty. I don't think we can, I think we can skip the bling today. So what do you think? No stamping necessary. And we got it done. This would be a great card design, no matter what paper or thin cuts you have. So um, let me see. If I wanted to do, let's see here. If you had some flowery paper and then you could do the, use your flower dies and make a little trio so that you would see the pattern paper underneath. Um, let's see. Of course, you want to use a shape that is very recognizable on its own. So if you were doing a, um, a pumpkin, you could cut pumpkins out of your paper and have a cute little pattern paper behind it. So that would show it off. Um, oh, the same even for the, well, the sunflower may not show up as much. It's just going to look like a little curly. So see, that's where a thin cut may not show up as well. So definitely look for a thin cut that um, has a very recognizable shape. So see here as a leaf, this leaf. But see, these other ones just kind of look like blobs. So unless you were putting flower paper underneath, then it might be a little bit more recognizable to say, oh, okay, that's a flower. Um, just looking to see if I have any other thin cuts I can quickly show you. But I think you get the idea. I think, um, you know, like I said, uh, you can mix it. Mix it up depending on what your stamp sets or papers are. And use this same, um, you know, card design. So, oh, I can't wait to see. We can do it again when we get ready to do Christmas cards. Imagine we can cut a stocking or a reindeer. There's lots of Christmas. I'm sure there's lots of Christmas designs that we could that we could use uh, definitely a tree is always a really good so if we cut the bell the tree the ornament you'll kind of get the idea of what's going on so that your little window reveals the pattern paper behind it and hopefully of course that will help reinforce the theme of your card okay was that a sneak peek of a stamp set? It sure was. Okay, well, I won't show you any more just yet. We're not ready to switch over to Christmas yet. So, there you go. Thanks a lot, you guys. Hey, Mary. Um, thanks for joining me tonight for another quick card. That was an easy, no stamping card necessary. And I'll see you all tomorrow night for another one. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.